answer barking guy on the on the online ticket sales question and uh, so I'll get confirmation here in just a minute make sure we get that all squared away okay Barking guys with us. Uh, busy, busy report with all the tennis and track and softball and baseball uh, activities. And uh, where are we at now? We're at uh, other events? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the early voting period, May 21st to June 4th. Besides household hazardous waste, you can also early vote in conjunction with City of Champions Comic Con. May 21st, Guns and Hoses Charity Softball Game, May 28th. And Car Affair, Car Show in Carlsbad, June 3rd through the 4th. I now have two Carlsbad and two Artesia events that you can really vote around. Okay. Remember, Artesia Clean and Beautiful is having cleanups. Yes. The next one being May 28th. If you have large items to take to the transfer station but no way to get them there, give Linda a call at 575-513-0143. Okay. Whew. Now, <laughs> this week in old-time radio, radio history. Okay. May 9th, Edgar Bergen and Charlie McCarthy show had its finale in 1937. May 10th, Fred Astaire was born in 1899. Great Gildersleeve's niece, Marjorie, gets married to Bronco in 1950. May 12th, Wireless radio broadcasting is patented by Nathan Stubblefield in 1908. Nathan Stubblefield? Why don't we hear his name? We hear Marconi. Yeah. You know, we don't hear Stubblefield. Why don't we hear Stubblefield? Why aren't these radio devices called Stubblefields? I don't understand. I don't understand either. What did, what did he invent again? It says wireless radio broadcasting is patented by Nathan Stubblefield in 1908. It's 1908. He patents his wireless radio, which which is basically what wireless internet is. You know, so why don't we call it the Stubblefield instead of the internet? That poor guy, he got the patent. I don't think he ever, I don't think he figured out how to make money with it. Other people came in, Marconi and Guglielmi and, and yeah. uh, some of these other folks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> May, th May 13th, uh -huh. Germany orders all radios to be confiscated in occupied countries in 1943. Well, that's the first thing that uh, communists or socialists or national socialists or national communists or socialist communists or national communist socialists, <laughs> any of these people do is they take over the means of communication. Let's see, what has happened here in the United States in the last couple of years? Don't tell me there's no collusion between Facebook and uh, YouTube, which is Google, <laughs> and uh, Twitter, which is trying to break free under the ownership of Elon Musk and the mainstream media and the uh, pro-liberal <laughs> Democrat administration in this country. Uh-huh. You know, I noticed today I was watching a Dr. Campbell clip on YouTube, and for the first time in a while, there was a ginormous purple banner right below his video that said, for more information on COVID, go here. For official information from the CDC, click here. Click here for CDC COVID information underneath the video clip with Dr. Campbell, who was giving his daily update on COVID and long COVID. So it's like, you can watch Dr. Campbell, but this is where you need to go for the truth. And like, no, I go to Dr. Campbell to get the <laughs> truth. <sighs> Dummies. Anyway, so yeah, yeah, that's what that's what they do, Barking Guide. That's what they do. They come in exactly. and take over the and control the means of communication. Okay. May 14th. Herbert Morrison was born in 1905. Paul Sutton in 1910. Bobby Darren in 1936. May 15th, James Mason was born in 1909. Eddie Arnold in 1918. Radio quotes of the week. All right. They're left wing activists. Hugh Hewitt about Politico and the Supreme Court leak. Yep. Yep. 
That's what they are. And then they allowed them to protest at the uh, Supreme Court justices' homes, which is illegal. I, I don't get this country right now. I don't get our leadership. I mean, I get it, but I don't get it. Yeah, I know. Here's another one. Wokeness equals weakness equals wars we do not want. Clay or Buck? Nope. Or Mark Levin? Nope. Neither. Latham Sadler, Georgia senatorial candidate. Well, who, where was he? He was on the Hugh Hewitt show. He was on the Hugh Hewitt show. Okay, very good. There are three kinds of lies. Lies, damn lies and statistics. Mark Twain. That was you? According, according I was you. quoting Mark Twain. Yep, you're yep. quoting him. That's right. Now, finally. Yes. <laughs> the schedule. The schedule. Well, I tell you what. Hang on just a second, Barking Guy. We're okay. going to break for news. When we come back. The Barking Guy will have the schedule for this week in Bulldog Athletics and other stuff. Don't go away.